Texas and Florida banning the vaccination mandate, um, you know, we we are seeing a decline in COVID numbers across the country, but uh, there's concerns that there could be another spike at some point, especially when you have uh, states that are banning a vaccination mandate. I want you guys to take a look uh, at the latest from Fox Fox News. I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, we have uh, mm-hmm. one of the governors uh, from those states uh, representing and explaining more about why uh, he decided to make that ban on the vaccine. Where does this end? Mm-hmm. Uh, we're talking about a federal mandate for a shot. Uh, as you know, there's waning effectiveness of these shots. Are, are people going to be required by the federal government to take a shot every single year for the rest of their lives? Americans need yeah. to come to grips with the unconstitutional overreach by the Biden administration. And so calling it a constitutional overreach. Uh, but Ben, I mean, we've had vaccination mandates uh, our entire lives. Yeah. Georgia, this this is peculiar to me um, because we are dealing with a, a series of governors who are executing their part in a much broader plan. You cannot tell me that in the midst of a global pandemic, the likes we have not seen since 1918, that the irrationality that we're seeing in Ron DeSantis in Florida, um, Art Reeves, or Tate Reeves rather, in Mississippi, um, Greg Abbott in Texas, and the governor from Alabama, all Republican governors doing everything that they can to ensure the maximum amount of deaths occur. Because to oppose a vaccine mandate, which you are absolutely correct, which is something that No one can go to public school. You can go to any school without getting vaccinated. This is not constitutional overreach. In fact, it is part and parcel the responsibility of the federal government to ensure the public health. That said, why is it that we have such an organized effort by Republicans to kill as many people as possible with COVID-19? You know, there are some places that are up to 90 percent. Uh, uh, v- vaccinated rate, right? More than 90% of their population in some states uh, have been vaccinated. And the amount of deaths down, uh, the amount of infections down. And so when you look at the numbers, it, it has just been proven that the vaccination works. That's right. Um, and so you know, if you need to get a booster, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, but right. the fact that we're hearing from Abbott, the governor of Texas there, uh, saying, you know, what are we, we're going to have to get a shot for the rest of our lives. Uh, I mean, what do you want? If you wanna do you live? want people to keep dying? Do you <laughs> yeah. want our children to keep dying? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's just this entire pandemic has been so frustrating. Uh, because you've truly been able to see people's privilege and power. Uh, the only people who who are are saying things like that are those who have the privilege to do so. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. And the the savagery to do so, because death is pretty permanent. If I have to take a booster shot every year for the rest of my life in order to keep living, sign me up. Greg Abbott will be in that line, too. But he wants his constituents to not be in that line. I, I, I really just need someone to really need people to understand that this is a concerted effort. You don't get to 750,000 deaths in a pandemic when we have a vaccine unless there's an organized effort to maximize it. And we see the same talking points from governors. We see it at the at the at the organizers, the people who are at these uh, town hall meetings and, and the school board meetings across the country. There's money and organization. And I think what we're going to find, Georgia, is that there's a huge overlap in the talking points in the org in the in the conversations and the investigations into January 6th. There's going to be a huge overlap You're with the same people who are pushing here. this. You're reading my mind. Yeah, because I was going to say, you know how you have a group chat. Right. I, I think that what's what we're seeing play out with COVID-19 is, is still in that same group chat that started mm-hmm. before January 6th. That's and right. it's just now morphed and evolved into this attack on vaccines and mass mandates, but it, it's the same folks. And you it, know what, Georgia, the same folks. 
the same folks who are there talking about the thin blue line, the same folks who are there opposing um, the case for Ahmad Arbe justice for Ahmad Arbery, the same people who think that black lives don't matter. Those are the same people in that exact same group chat. And they're the same villains throughout this entire narrative.